Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Riley Leopard here, your favourite middle child. So last episode, we left you out at a remote east coast village called Akiteo Beach. It was quiet and peaceful, and for our New Zealand standards, it's way out in the middle of nowhere, which is just what we like. We loved it out there and enjoyed the sound of the ocean, diving, look at this octopus I found, and just some peace and quiet. But today we headed back to Dannyburg. We'd definitely uh, be keen to stay here a bit longer. Soph's mum's having her birthday um, on Friday, so we are heading over to the Kapiti coast. So we're going to pack up in the rain, which is never fun, and uh, tow into town. It's back 75 kilometres back to what a small town. The Tararua District Council kindly messaged us and offered us a free stay at the Holiday Park in Dannyburg and a guided tour of Pukaha, the New Zealand Wildlife Sanctuary at Mount Bruce. But before we get to that, we packed up in the rain at the beach and drove the 75 kilometre drive back into Dannyburg. where we drove down a beautiful driveway to arrive at the campground, which was a good spot for us at, for a night so we could do the trip to Pukaha, which is a little bit past Eke Tehuna the next day. Cool, well we're all unhooked now. Nice to have power and water right at our site. That doesn't happen very often. Whoa, it's so bright. Good morning everybody. We are off to Ikatahuna today. We're going to the or to Mount Bruce to the Pukaha Bird Sanctuary. So we're pretty lucky the Danny Burke or the Tarador District Council messaged us offering us some free tickets to um, help showcase this district because it's quite a uh, drive through spot a lot of people don't really hang around much here so we are going to go and check that out today very frosty cold morning <sighs> it was a very cold morning for our drive and pretty foggy as well places where the heart resides brothers laugh and lovers cry hold each other up when we can't stand back home with my family it's right there where i want to be it's all i need to be a rich man Pukaha Bird Wildlife Centre and we're going to go see some natives, birds and animals. When we arrived, we were welcomed at reception and we met our guide who would show us around this beautiful place. Yeah. Quite a big one. They're quite large, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh my heart's drawn to you I could swear that it's true up in the trees, whispers sing, we've come so far This is who we are Oh, my heart set on you I could swear that it's true Though my feet keep running away, it's true No, they never do Cause I poured my heart often ask about our education and learning while we are traveling. How cool is it that we get our own guided tour learning about the different Kiwi species in New Zealand, where they are based or live, and we were even lucky enough that a Kiwi came right up to the glass for us to see. We also saw lots of different sized bird eggs. We learnt lots of things here. 
Living on the road, traveling to different places, teaches you about lots of different things. Yeah. We saw some geckos as well, but the tour tata was hiding in his bed, so we couldn't see him. We all love the eels or tuna. They have a place here where they feed them. These eels are big yeah, and fat. <laughs> Did you know that the eels swim back to the Pacific Islands where they breed? It's a one-way trip for them. They won't return because they will not make it back. But their baby eels will arrive into New Zealand waters, going from the sea into estuaries and rivers, heading up into fresh water. Pretty amazing. We did see a lot of native birds in this park, which is what this place is known for. Once our guided tour was over, we decided to do the four kilometre loop walk through the bush, up the hill to where there was a good view. This is what our guide recommended for us to do. It was a really nice and short walk. So we finished our official tour and it was recommended that we take the hike up the, up the hill over here, so I got my stick. <laughs> and off we go. Beautiful bush, beautiful bird song apparently, so do yeah. it. Our guide recommended we go up there, so we may as well take the recommendations they know best. Definitely uh, plenty of beautiful forests and native bush through here. Hey Riley. made it to the top of this hill what a beautiful day it's pretty still up here and it's nice and warm well we have warmed up anyway it's still cold I think beautiful views Tararua's Sweet, well that was our day here at Puhaka. Uh, we've been here way long than we expected. It's nearly 2 p.m. We got here before 10, so good day out. Okay, thanks for watching our adventure, everyone. Next time, we are camping at Ōtaki Beach with our friends we met on the road. But we got the sickness here, especially Toby. The first time we've been really sick since our travel started. Also, Mum and Dad have done some stuff so hopefully our winter in the South Island isn't as tough as last year. See you in the next one!